Karl Mukuldev, uh, I believe there may be cases where the role of the officers in charge legal cell, who are invariably jack departmental officers, that also contributes uh, to either the delay in disposal of the case and in some cases prolonging the agony of the litigants. Have you uh, had some such experience? Yes, sir. Uh, as I said earlier, I always felt that the OIC legal cell or the JAG officer who is dealing with the litigation, he should not take it as a personal thing that why a litigant has filed some kind of a case and we should defend it more effectively or whatever it is. I will tell you one particular incident, rather two of them. There was a policy letter from the government dictating very clearly that such and such cases of disability pensions at the admission stage only the OIC legal cell or the JAG officer would concede. I read that letter. Would concede? Would concede. Okay. The government was very fair in saying that we are a welfare state. We cannot afford to go in for such kind of litigation wherein the law is very clear. Government was very clear on that and the letter has come to us. It, In fact, it was not only addressed to me, it was addressed to all the officers who were dealing with the litigation okay. at that time. I read that letter properly and from next day onwards, I, implemented. I implemented, I started conceding the cases in the court. In fact, the court, the administrative member in particular, he asked me, why are you conceding this case? Under what law? I, the same day I went to him in his chamber and I showed him the policy letter and I told him, under these provisions, I am conceding. There were a large number of such cases. Okay. I felt that if the litigant can be given at the admission stage itself, he will not get frustrated. He will get the justice in the more speedier way. And even the government, that is the exchequer, would save a lot of money on the engagement of a government council. Yes, obviously. However, I found that in other places, that policy, somewhere it was being implemented, somewhere it was not being implemented. And subsequently, I also found that after I relinquished the charge, that same policy was not implemented again. Well, Such this is quite surprising that the instructions of the government, which would have come through army channels, were being ignored or uh, were not being implemented upon? Actually, sir, yes. the JAG officers or the uh, officers who are dealing with the litigation at that point of time or in that court, they should be held accountable for all such things, wherein the blatant violation of government orders are being done. Yes. That should not be orders done. Orders are being disregarded. Disregarded. They should be taken to task and made to answer and reply. Uh, is there any other way where you found that uh, the performance of military lawyers, I mean JAG department, uh, could have been better and was not up to the mark? I will give you one more example, sir. As you have got a vast experience in military law, you have been the head of the department for such a long time. We conduct the court martials, whether it is summary court martial or district court martial or general court martial, and under the provisions of law, we hand over a copy to the accused person. What trial is, proceedings. Trial proceedings, we hand over the copy. Now. Over a period of time, the accused, because of his ignorance or whatever we may term it as, he loses that copy. Okay. Now, at some point of time, subsequently, if he comes to his advocate and wants to challenge those proceedings, he has to have that copy and he has lost it. I found that in number of cases, such petitions were being filed to get the copy first. Now, as per the pro procedure or the provisions of the court, first he will file the petition for get a copy, then I will be told to give a reply, then he will give the rejoinder. Six months or one year will lapse like this and he will keep uh, languishing here and there unnecessarily without getting his ju due justice or the perceived uh, uh, grievance, whatever he may have. I implemented a thing that the moment any such petition was filed, I encouraged all the lawyers there who were practicing in that particular area that before filing such petition, please come to me. If I have got a copy, I will provide you free of cost. If I don't have, I will make all endeavor possible to get you a copy. Right. So that speedy justice is done. A person is given the justice and also the rule of law or the fact that government is a welfare state is driven into mind of the normal citizenry. It should not happen that people think that the court is above anything. Judiciary, judiciary, is, judiciary is there to help everybody. Quite right. So Quite this right. is what used to happen. Uh, would you like to say anything with uh, regard to uh, the availability of uh, AFT rulings so that it can be, these can be relied upon in, uh, by other benches or subsequent benches at the same uh, location? Is that happening? 
सर विद रिक्वेस्टेड स्पीड नो सर आई ट्राई टू डू दैट फर्स्टली आई वॉज टोल्ड दैट दीज जजमेंट्स कैन नॉट बी पब्लिश बिकॉज ए एफ टी इज नॉट ए कोर्ट ऑफ रिकॉर्ड हाउ एवर सब्सिक्वेंटली आई केम अक्रॉस ए बुक विच आई बॉट ऑल्सो फ्रॉम माई ओन लाइब्रेरी दैट मद्रास बार एसोसिएशन दे कंपाइल्ड ऑल द जजमेंट्स एंड पब्लिश्ड वन सच बुक ओके इट वॉज ए वेरी हैंडी बुक बट आई फाइंड दैट सच Uh, publication is not existing as on today and the main reason they gave is that this cannot be done because this is not a court of record they don't have even the contempt power so why should we do this however i also must concede that the website of aft has got all the judgments available if somebody wants to really uh, do some research we can find out but okay. yes it is little difficult because indexing is not there okay the subject wise indexing is not there so there is a problem uh, my next question to you is what do you think is the scope uh is scope available to law graduates to come and practice before aft high courts in matters of military law do you think there is ample opportunity or there is further opportunity or it is already overburdened no sir i find there is vast opportunity available to such young law graduates okay there are large number of cases which are coming up there are already a pendency of more than 16000 cases in delhi L- itself 16000 16000 cases are pending here delhi aft yes sir because of the covid which happened in the last two years there was no disposal aft was intermittently working not working so there are so many cases lying in so many benches so uh, the young graduates and i find lot of young graduates are coming and joining aft okay and it is very good to see that such people uh, coming new, and asking new entrants new entrants are, are there right and uh, promising yes in fact in my own law firm there are three young graduates who are doing very well okay okay now we come to the end of the lecture and before we do that is there anything from your side which you would like to add in addition to what you have already brought out sir i would like to say that people dealing with such cases should deal with with due compassion must be proactive and like i said earlier they should not become personal to any such kind of things yes lot of research is required in such cases one should keep abreast himself uh, with the latest on the law and i feel that the judgments which are passed in persona should also be taken as judgment in rem the policies should be implemented correctly which i find till date that we are lacking upon that's all i would like to say thank you it's been a great pleasure and uh, i am uh, more than certain that uh, the contents of this video would uh, hugely benefit the viewers thank you thank you very much sir thank you for inviting me here